everyone and welcome to another empties video and this one is going to be a pretty epic empties video because I have got a lot of stuff in front of me. So much so that I um, can't fit it all in my empties basket. So I'm going to just jump right into it, no particular order, let's get going. Um, number one is a um, shower gel and this is the Imperial Leather Foam Burst Uplifting Lime and Grapefruit Fragrance. I don't use this as a shower gel, I use this to shave my legs with works a treat. Um, this isn't my favourite one, I prefer, in fact it's going to be <laughs> my favourites video and I've got it here so I can just show you, if I can do it from down here, this is my favourite one from the range, the um, Nourishing Sheer Butter and Orange Blossom. This is the one I would recommend, this one was okay, um, I used it, I liked it enough, but these are great to shave your legs with because it's like a really nice thick moisturising foam, not kind of like a not an empty foam, if that makes sense, like a lot of the um, like men's shaving foams and that kind of thing are. Oh, I've just noticed my necklace was twiddled the wrong way, wasn't it? I hate when that happens. It drives me insane when I see photos of people when that's happened. And then I had it. How annoying. Um, yeah, so that's number one. Number two um, is not in fact empty, but it has gone off so much so that I went to use it the other day and it came out and it's completely green, like Shrek green. So it's definitely going in the bin. Um, and it's the Saint Tropez, uh, sorry, Saint Moritz, not Saint Tropez, um, Fast Tanning Mousse. This is the one to three hour one that they do. I like this one. It works really well for me, um, but obviously I won't use it when it's gone off. So that is something to bear in mind with fake tans. They do um, kind of wear off quite quickly. Let me just pop those down. Um, I've got two candle empties actually. This one is the um, Bath and Body Works White Barn Mahogany Teakwood Candle. I really, really love the packaging of this. I was really excited when I got it, but the scent, I never thought I would say this about a candle, okay, but it's a little bit too strong for me. And I like really, really strong scents but it almost was so strong it gave me a headache. It's very, very masculine. I think they describe the notes here as um, beautiful notes of rich mahogany, teakwood, oak, and frosted lavender. It's very, very masculine. It's really sexy. It would be like a nice bathroom candle kind of thing, but it was just too strong for me. My boyfriend didn't like it at all to a point where every time I'd burn it, I'd then notice that it was off because he would come in and like put it off because he couldn't stand the smell of it. And to be honest, I didn't really like it either. It was a bit too much. Probably the only Beth and Body Works product I found that I didn't like. Um, this candle is the Yankee Candle Sheer Butter Candle. I really like this um, fragrance from Yankee Candle. Nice, creamy, kind of good for um, the springtime when you don't want anything too summery, but you don't want anything that's too kind of like Christmas time winter smell. It's got a really, really lovely creamy kind of sheer sandalwoody kind of vibe um, and I really like it. I would repurchase this. Then I've got another empty shower gel here. I might possibly have a few of these actually within this video. It's the Radox um, Feel Lively uh, Lychee and Peony shower gel. This is my favourite one from this range. I think it's really, really good. Um, and when it's on offer, I stock up. That's why I've got quite a few of these because I do think that they're worth stocking up on when they are on offer, like in Tesco's and that kind of thing. Um, I've got an empty body product. This is the Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter. This is possibly one of the nicest smelling body butters. I actually made a mental note to tell you guys this when I got it, but I've used it completely, completely up. And it just has that beautiful, beautiful Soap and Glory smell. Sweet, decadent, just Soap and Glory. Like, what more could you describe it as? It's just such a lovely smell. Definitely repurchase that. I'm dropping things left, right and centre, aren't I? Me having to get things. I'm the most unprofessional of YouTubers. Um, this uh, is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. I love this mask. Um, a good dupe for it is the L'Oreal version, the detox one. But this is really good. I'm on my second one of these already because I think it's really good at getting gunk out of your pores. Which is disgusting but necessary. Um, I used up this little sample of the... Um, Elemental Herbology Earth Balance Bath um, Oil. This one has cedarwood, mandarin, lime and bergamot in it. It was nice, but it was nowhere near as nice as the Aromatherapy Associates ones. They're my all-time favourite, so make of that what you will. Um, two empty hairsprays. Now, I want to just clarify something with empties videos. When I say that this is like a May empties, basically what I mean is like, I've they've ran out during this month. They're not necessarily things I've been ex using exclusively during this month. I know some people do it that way, I don't. 
Um, this one is the normal strength one and this one is the Glam Waves one. I wouldn't buy the Glam, Wave, Glam Waves one again, I don't think it has enough hold um, compared to the other ones. So just be aware of that, even though the scent is better, and that one's just the original one, that one's fine. I do definitely, my hair's like all over the place, isn't it? Some bits are curly, some bits are straight. Weird. It is boiling today, it's literally like 23 degrees, I'm dying to go and sit outside, but I had to film this while I had time, so. Um, yeah, I prefer the unfragranced version of Elnet in general, like from all the different versions that they do. Um, so let's get into what I've got in my little box here. I've actually got, oh I thought there were three sheet masks, but I'm wrong, there are only two sheet masks. Let me get that out first. Um, okay, so two sheet masks. One is the Garnier Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask. This is my favourite um, of all the Garnier masks and it's my favourite sheet mask in general I think. This is the um, rebalancing mask. It's great if you have oily skin. Um, this is the Aldi Moisture Complex Sheet Mask. This I didn't really like. I've got another one of these because it was a two pack for $1.99, but the shape of the sheet mask was a bit annoying, I found. The eyes were too close together, which I don't think my eyes are particularly like far apart from each other, but they were so close. It was like here and it just wasn't comfortable. I don't think I'd bother with those again. Just buy the Garnier ones when they're on offer. They're on offer often enough. Um, I've got two um, reed diffusers. I wouldn't normally put this kind of thing in here, but I just thought I'd show you. So I've got the Aldi Lime Basil and Mandarin one and the Pomegranate one. The Pomegranate one by far is the strongest from all the scents that they do, but these are really good. They're like 3 99 and they look really pretty and they do give a nice subtle scent. Um, sticking to that range actually, let me get this, I mean, if, you, if you saw how I'm balancing everything here. Empties is such a like logistically annoying thing. Um, this is the Blackberry Bay Candle from Aldi. This is really good. Um, again, my favourite is the Lime Basil and Mandarin one, but that range in general, as much as the smell is my favourite, in terms of the intensity of the smell, they're not particularly strong. This is really sh um, strong in comparison, so I really like that. I definitely would repurchase more of those. I think I might even have a backup actually. Um, this is a tea tree and peppermint deep moisturising foot pack. I love these types of things. I always buy them in like B&M and Home Bargains and I think they're really, really effective. It's summertime now, you need to have your feet out and feet are gross. So let's make them look as nice as we possibly can. These really help. Um, and I, what I normally do is I can't just sit there and like do nothing, so I'll put socks on top and I do kind of walk around with them, which is a bit naughty, but the tea tree was nice because it was also quite cooling um, as well which I liked. Um, another one of those um, Rolox shower gels, told you I use these a lot, so we won't mention that again. Just know that when it's on offer, I do repurchase them because I think they're really good. Um, then we have a fake tan. This is the Superdrug um, Dark Tan Mousse. This is the only fake tan empty that I've had that is really filthy. Look how like disgustingly dirty that is. I really like this, I repurchased it. It seems to always be out of stock in store, but it's a really nice summer tan. Um, right now I've got the Tanya White bits, which has gone horrifically orange on my hands because I wasn't paying attention, and also the formula is quite dark, I mean, you can see. But um, I really like this tan, and it's very affordable. It's always on some sort of offer. Um, I've got a cleanser empty here. This is the um, Your Good Skin. I was going to say Your Good Jeans. It's the Calming Cream Cleanser. I really like this. It has um, salicylic acid in it. It's really gentle but really thorough. Great for oily skin if you don't like too heavy a cleanser. And it's like £5. I have already bought another one of these because it is really, really good. Um, sticking to skin care. This is actually really sad. This is the last of the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Serum. They have discontinued this range. It's my all-time favourite serum. You can still buy it on like, eBay and Amazon and that kind of thing. But I'm always a bit wary as to where they've come from. And yeah, this makes me so sad. I loved everything about it. I loved the packaging. I loved how it made my skin feel. It was just the best. So I need to find an alternative to that. Alternative to that. So if you've got a recommendation for me, um, I'm all ears. Another skincare product. This is the Soap and Glory Make Yourself Youthful Sun Shield Super Fluid, which looks like this. Lovely um, SPF. 50 great for oily skins a little bit moisturizing it's not as lightweight as the body shop one the skin defense one a little bit more moisture than that but it just works really well at protecting your skin from the sun and works well under makeup as well 
because I tend to do that with my um, SPF. I don't wear moisturiser on top because my skin doesn't need it. Then I've got a little empty of the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Moisturising Shampoo. I love this shampoo. I use it all the time. It, it kind of just brings out any blonde bits you've got in your hair and makes your hair look nice. I think it's a really good shampoo. I can't use it all the time because it does irritate my scalp a little bit, but um, I use it like once a week. Um, this is the Sanctuary uh, Wet Skin Moisture Miracle. You know that I love this. I would definitely repurchase this. Um, I need to repurchase one actually. You just slather it on after you've had a shower and it moisturises you and it smells good. My only beef is it claims it smells good for an extended period. It does not. It kind of disappears quite quickly. Um, then what do we have? Uh, makeup empties. This is fun. Um, we've got a empty Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. I need to buy another one of these ASAP because it's the best setting spray I have ever used. Really, really good. And an empty L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic. Now, I'm still using um, another one of these mascaras that I had. I bought a bunch when they went through for two and like they were reduced as well. But um, it dries out very, very quickly. That is something that you do need to be aware of. It dries out fast. So you know, make of that what you will, um, whether or not it's worth it. At the moment I'm using a different mascara that I'm thoroughly enjoying, so I won't repurchase any of that soon, and I have got a couple of backups anyway, but I do really like it because it doesn't smudge. Um, then I've also got an empty of um, the Jetlil Aroma, what is this called, sorry, the Velvet Mattifying Fluid. It doesn't look empty, but it is, nothing's coming out of it anymore. Um, it's just a nice everyday moisturiser for the evening or if I wasn't going out and I didn't need some protection. Really liked it, it was good. Um, then I've got two empties here from The Ordinary. Um, I've got the Niacinamide. I wasn't convinced this did anything. I used it up. I don't think it really did anything. Um, and also the Azaleic Acid Suspension Brightening Formula. Again, I'm not... <sighs> I'm angry with The Ordinary as a brand in general for them allowing what's going on in their social media feeds to go on because I just think it's ridiculous and unprofessional. But in terms of the products, I don't know, everyone has these amazing results and I feel like I'm the only one that doesn't really. It's There's some products from them I really like but I'm a bit kind of on the fence, I think. I don't know. But then there's always still stuff I want to try so I get sucked in. Um, and then last but not least is an empty e.l.f. Um, HD under eye setting powder, which just looks like that. It literally is just a setting powder for your under eye area, and I always need to use a setting powder for my under eye area because it always creases really badly. So those are all of my May empties. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you've used up because I like being nosy and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like it and subscribe and all of that jazz if you haven't already. I think it's somewhere down here. Um, and yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye.